<laughs> More than double what we had last year. So that would be five. Great. That's not even enough to throw all the parts. We might have to throw you on stage this year. Very funny. You wouldn't get that desperate. I wouldn't be too sure. Any boys on the list? No. So what else is on here? It's all right. I'll just get that Flanders girl to play Geiger. She looks like Morgan Freeman and sounds like a linebacker. I think Layla transferred. Great. Who else is on the list? The Eagles? Yep, and one name I don't recognize. I'll take it. Why don't you go bring them in? Oh, and Jane? Yes? You know you don't have to wear all black for the audience. That's only for the performances. I am proud to wear my stage manager uniform all the time. Well, it's not really a you know, Wait. Is that your name avoided on your shirt? No. Just go bring it in. Okay. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us on this exciting theatrical adventure. Jane and I were just saying how thrilled we were to have such a big turnout this year. Let's begin. You should each have an excerpt from the script. But, before we start the audition, I'd like all of us to get to know each other, especially since I see some of your faces. Tell us a little about yourself, what role you played in the past, and what role you are auditioning for. Alright, take a seat, and we'll call you up individually. Juliet Sawyer? Hi, I'm Juliet Sawyer. I forgot what else we need to say. What have you played in the past? I mean, your favorites. Oh, um, probably Rapunzel, Ariel, and Sleeping Beauty. And what a wonderful job you did in all of them. Thank you. Oh, and I will be auditioning for the part of Cinder White. Of course. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Next we have Deborah Wilkins. <laughs> Hi. My name is Deborah Wilkins, as if you could forget. This is probably my last show here at this dump of a school. My agent has a bunch of reality show auditions lined up for me. He says I'm the next Miley Cyrus. I don't think that was a compliment. My most memorable performance has been Mama Rose in Gypsy, not the junior version. The professional touring company. I was only 12 at the time. But hey, when you're a triple threat like me, what does age matter? Is she done yet? Another memorable role has been Annie in the toddler section of Annie, for which I want to be one of the most promising and talented toddler under three. She was excellent! I know. I will be auditioning for the role of the evil stepmother. I'm much better for that boy than Cinder White. Lucky us. Well, we will be looking forward to working with your enormous ego. I mean, Helen. Audrey Baker? Hi, I'm Audrey Baker, and this is my fourth show here. Louder! Well, thank you. Audrey. Heidi Roberts? Hi, I'm Heidi Roberts. This is my fifth show here, and I've done a lot of community theater, too. Heidi, what are you holding? Oh, I make brownies for everyone. Kisses. I just thought everyone could enjoy a little snack after auditions. Well, how about you? What part have you played in the class? Let's see. I played Kim's mother in Bye Bye Birdie, Marion's mother in Music Man, and Mother Abbas in Sound of Music. Have you ever not played a mom? Yes! I played Laura's aunt in Oklahoma. <laughs> because of mom. <laughs> sure. Well, what part are you auditioning for today? Cinder White's fairy godmother. Shockers! <laughs> Thank you. Jane, who's next? 
Myra Fluchwell. I'm Myra. Let's get one thing straight. I don't do theater. I don't have the bug, as you people call it. I'd much rather dump a dry spider down my back and feel each of their thin, spindly legs crawl down my spine. You? But I'm failing art, and my teacher said I could get the credits I need by being in the play, so here I am. Lucky art. And who's this? Um, I'm not sure. She's not on my list. I'm Andrew Hardro. I didn't sign up or anything. Okay, well, what part did we play this time? I haven't performed before. Okay, and what are you auditioning for? I'm not auditioning. Then what are you doing here? I wanted to be part of the group. I'm in art, and I thought it could make sense. We could do that. <laughs> well, thank you. Unfortunately, cast auditions are only today. Crew needs to come tomorrow. When no matter. Well, we were just about to start the reading, so everyone, please stand up and spread across the stage. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, great. Enough. That is a nice place. He looks like he could be in there. Excuse me? So why don't you quickly tell everyone about yourself and what you've played in the past? Oh, my name is Paul Scott, and what do you mean by what I've played in the past? Like, musical instruments? No, I can be ethical. Oh, I haven't done it. Will that hurt me? Will I get to wear bows? Well, first of all, we don't vote here. I decide who plays what, and that is perfectly fine with this is your first show. Welcome. <coughs> Cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war. Let's begin. Listen, I am not above private students. 
I may not have a lot of money, but I do have a bunch of gift cards to various businesses, and I'm not afraid to use them. I'm not sure that. Thank you for your interest. Rehearsals are tomorrow. The stage manager will give you instructions then. Great. I'll be there on time. I promise. Jane, why did you do that? Mr. Vespas, he didn't want to be in cast. Besides, we need crew members. I guess you're right. Well, thank you again for all your help today. I really couldn't do it without you. It's no problem. I made a list of all the auditioners. I alphabetized and color coded them. Also, I proofread the prop list. It's in there too, laminated. But Jane, don't you need your binder? <laughs> don't worry, I made an identical one for myself at home. But this must have taken you hours. It's no problem. Good night, Mr. Pestis. Good night, Jane.
I really can't think of a good excuse. I have some bad news. Unfortunately, there were some complications during Mr. Vespas' surgery, and he, no, oh no, yes, he's dead! <laughs> what? No! He just needs the next six weeks to recover. So that means I'm stuck with you. I'm your new director. You? Yes. Apparently, Mr. Thespis thought that I did not sufficiently make up for a particular incident back in 2009 involving his ferret, a bottle of hairspray, and a blue torch. So here I am! Stage manager! Did you take attendance? Hey, Anjanu, that's you. What? Attendance? What? A task in which you take note of which people are here and which people are not? I emailed you the cast list last night! It's a task for the stage manager? Oh, okay. If you're here, raise your hand. Okay, <laughs> if you're not here, stop. Signorite. Here. Evil Seven. Here. Fairy Godmother. Here. Evil Stepsisters. Here. Prince Pleasant. Prince Pleasant. Here. Audrey's here, Miss Ball. Then say here, Kate! Speak up! Alright. I'm sure at this point, during the first rehearsal, Mr. Thespis breaks out into some inspirational speech with some very relevant Shakespeare quote that he'll try to pass off as his own, and he'll have you all hold hands and pass a squeeze down the line as you share the energy with each other. So, to be or not to be, everybody squeeze each other! And break! All right, let's start with the first quarter! I mean, scene one. Miss Ball, do we really have to do this? Can't you find some other theater gigs to do these parts? I'm only here because I'm failing art. Yeah, and I didn't need an audition. I got out at a stoop home meeting. Believe me, nothing would make me happier than to shut down this whole production right now. You don't think I have Hocus Pocus 2 sitting on Disney Plus at home waiting for me? But, Unfortunately, we're all stuck with each other for the next six weeks, and that includes you as Blazer Girl. Get it? Fine. Blazer Girl? Fine. But if I stay, can I count on all of your votes? Act now! Campaign later! Wait, what about us? Who are you? I don't think I had you on my list. Oh, here you are. Set painting. What? No, I wanted to build the sets. Did I ask you what you wanted to do? No. That's what I thought! Now paint those sets! Well, if he's painted sets, what am I supposed to do? Andrew? Uh, yeah. You want to try that again without the attitude? Mm, not really. Excuse me? Mm, all right. Andrea, that's me. That's a start. Andrea, set production. What? I don't even know how to hammer a screw or anything. That's not... Enough chit-chat! You work for the stage manager! Princess Airhead? Yes! Stepsisters. Now go! Cinder White, you lazy little thing. Make us breakfast. And when you're done, we get our dresses for the ball. And then do our hair. And do our nails. I'd be happy to help you get ready for the ball. <laughs> Maybe I can even go a bit. You. I've never been to a ball before. Seriously? <laughs> That's how you're gonna do it? What? You stink! My mom! Oh, come on. You can't possibly think that was good. No, she's right. I stink. You got that right. This is why I'm the stage manager. Miss Ball, this is a mistake. I'll say. All right. That's enough. Slap your girl. For someone who claims that theater isn't her thing, you sure have a lot of opinions. Take it down a notch. It's plain. It's Jane. Whatever. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. You do stick this ball. But this is the part that you were given.
living. And as long as you think you stink, you're gonna go on stinking. Forever! All right, but Taco, <laughs> let's try a different scene. Oh. Quiet, girl, you're up. Do the scene when Cinder White meets Prince Blessed at the ball. Start with Plague's line. It's day whatever. Uh, I actually have to go. Yeah, me too. What? Oh, my God. 
kindergarten. <laughs> Didn't even try to shade it. And what is this monstrosity? Uh, clearly the magic pumpkin punch? No, this? This is an OSHA nightmare! How is she supposed to sit in this? Uh, act, I guess. Fix it! All right, let's run the scene between Cinder White and Prince Pleasant at the ball. Play! Quiet Girl! And go!
eight voicemails, 15 text messages, four Facebook posts, and the I'm sorry montage you made for me. By the way, where did you get all those pictures of us together? Oh, easy. I followed you home, took the pictures of you, and photoshopped myself into them. That is beyond creepy. I know, but I just needed to let you know. I'm sorry. Look, it's fine. It's not like we're friends anyway. Or, according to you, I don't have any friends, so it's fine. It doesn't sound like we're fine. Means you can't 
always have the lead. Sometimes you have to let other people who always play the nice mom or non-threatening best friend have a chance instead of hogging all the good parts for yourself. And sometimes you have to cheer those other people on instead of making them feel like they're not good enough. And sometimes you have to dial back your enormous ego and realize that you should focus on the parts that you do have. Because with what I've seen so far, you're, you're not a very good and very godmother. Wow, that was really specific. <laughs> that was a nice start. You know what else it was? Disruptive. So just for that, nice girl and diva get to do 20 push-ups. What? Why me? Everyone else, head down to the costume room. Miss Ball? What do you want, Simon Girl? I just wanted to let you know that you look really fat in that work of suit. Sorry, someone had to let me know. Orange really isn't your color. Thank you for your honesty. You can go join Diva and Nice Girl over there now! What? It's so not fair. Okay, I forgive you. You do? Yeah. What changed your mind? That was awesome. Someone had to tell her off. I know, it was pretty awesome. I just couldn't take it anymore. She's so full of herself. I'm right here. <laughs>
Yes. Disaster. Absolute disaster. That's it? That's the note? Yeah. Do you have the advice? Be better. Stage manager. Here's an idea. When it's Cinder Wright's death scene, it's probably a good idea to put the spotlight on her instead of Blazer Girl picking her nose off stage! Blazer Girl? I'll talk with your nose off stage. If you can see me, I can see you. Bye, girl? Yes. Bye, girl. the monologue. Yes. That was good. The song you handed during Cinder White's death scene was not. I just thought it could enhance the no. it. Fine. Nice girl. I didn't hate your performance today. Thank you. Slacker girl? Did I? Were those actual compliments? I think so. Alright everyone, that's enough for the night. I'm gonna go soak in the tub and eat my pizza. Be here at 6 o'clock tomorrow! <laughs> All right, Flynn, go home. Oh, I know this song. I just need to highlight the sound cues in the script. So it's easier for Juliet to see. And I think I'm going to preset the props for tomorrow night. And that light really needs to be adjusted. And then I think you, you must make no, I'm like a great stage manager. Oh, a great stage manager? But you know that's not your role in this show. That's Juliet's job. So? So let her do that stuff. But Miss Ball. But what? But this is what I do. I make the lists, I wear the black, I keep the show running. I don't know what Mr. Festus was thinking, give me this part. All right, look. I know you think you don't belong up here, but this is the part that Mr. Thespis gave you. Why? Because he thought you could do it. Then why do I freeze every single time I'm up here? I'm awful. Yeah, you are. Look, I'm not a drama coach. I'm in no way qualified to give you actor advice. But I did have this player. She would stay after practice in the gym after everyone else went home, when it was empty. She didn't know I was there, so I would sit behind the bleachers and watch her shoot. Layups, foul shots, three-pointers, and she was really good. I don't think I remember her missing a shot. Okay, but guess how many shots this girl made during our season? How many? None. Not a one, not even during practice. Needless to say, she spent most of her time on the bench for three years, until one game. It was the last game of the season, so it was a pretty big game. There were three seconds left on the clock and we were down by two points. All we needed was a player that could make a shot from half court. She was the only one I had seen make that shot. She did it dozens of times when she was by herself in the gym. So, so what did you do? Did you put her in? Did she make the shot? Did you win the game? I put her in. She missed the shot. We lost the game. Oh. Have a nice night, Flynn. Wait, Miss Ball. I know you're looking forward to your bath and keep the lunchable, but why does she tell me that? You mean to tell me you've never stayed after practice and performed a monologue to the empty seats when you thought that no one else was there? Of course I have. <laughs> really? <laughs> that was just a lucky guess. <laughs> so? Then be Cinder White. Stop doubting yourself. This isn't something that you can organize or make lists for. And there's no guarantee that it'll go well. Shout out 
to someone named Bailey. Bailey, you're doing a wonderful job. I'm so proud of you. Love, Mom. P.S. Was that an okay shout out? Yes, it was. It was pretty okay. This one goes out to Juliet. Juliet, let down your hair and learn to control the stage. Come on. Love your favorite sister. Listen, hold it up, boys. You guys are so neat. Charlie, why can I see you, but you aren't holding me? Love, baby, Ethan and Elena. Aww. <laughs> Looking good, burger girl. Love, Blake and Mom. <laughs> Brendan Beaning. I hope you recover quickly to direct the production the way it was meant to be. Or not to be. <laughs> Love you always, Granny. <laughs> you are good to Bailey and Molly. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Bailey, your mom told me to tell you to clean out the litter box and wash the dishes when you get home. <laughs> Love Aunt Amanda. I knew there was gonna be a new one. I didn't tell her to do that. <laughs> okay. Baby, thanks for the great plays over the years. Love, Grandma B. Thanks, Grandma. Allie, great job. We know you are not always the quiet girl. Love, Mom and Dad. That was a good one. She says, Miss Apple, you have worked so hard, and it will all be worth it. We're so proud of you. Love, Mom and Dad. Aww. Maddie Zane. Yay! Something other than a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Though it isn't much of a stretch for you to play an angsty teenager. Just kidding. Lots of love, Mom and Dad and Abby. I'm always amazed at how awesome all of you are. Congrats to the seniors. I love you and will miss you. Love, Mrs. O. Aww. Everyone is amazing. Gotta watch out for that Molly and Bailey characters.
She's one of the stepsisters. Aren't you, aren't you the one that casted this thing? Wait, Julia, what are you wearing? Since when did Cinder White wear all black? You should be wearing what Jane has on. What? Why would the stage manager be wearing what Cinder White has on? Why would Cinder White be wearing what the stage manager has on? Give me that. What on earth, earth is this? The names are all jumbled up. What did you do? Me? This is not my fault! This is the cast list you sent me! There must have been a formatting error or something! Stupid Excel! I can't believe this! Mr. Thespis, if all the parts got jumbled up, what part was I supposed to have? Oh, I was cut. Wasn't cut. I'm sorry. I just decided to go in a different direction. What direction is that? I have to step this up to get Deborah at life. You mean I could have had three parts? Mr. Justice, what about me? Who are you? I'm Audrey. Oh, I think I can't as like a rock or a squirrel or something. <laughs> no, you were supposed to be Prince Pleasant. I can't do that. The man is throwing a blazer. Willow? Yeah, well, she quit, so you would have been without me tonight. I can't believe you let this happen. Me? This is even worse than you balding my fairy. This one is not my fault. The other one was an accident. What are these poor kids supposed to do now? They're all stuck playing roles that they're completely wrong for. So I got your part. And I got your part. This is an outrage and I've been robbed. Well, I didn't even want to be in this stupid play to begin with. I knew I was supposed to be the stage manager.
ball, you get to keep it go with you. I've never been to a ball before. <laughs>
Good luck, Charlie, from Emma. You all are doing an awesome job. I am proud. P.S. Bailey and Elise, we don't talk about the Murphy bed. <laughs> from Theo. <laughs>
Bailey. You're killing it! I'm so proud of you. Love, Mom. See, I can do nice shoutouts. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Hey, Aiden! You still smell like grapes! <laughs> From no one and everyone. <laughs> Love you bunches, JoJo! Good job, Charlie. But quit picking her, your nose off stage, Uncle Sean. <laughs> Bro, you funny lady from Joey. Elise, I am very disappointed in you for breaking a light. If you break it again, I will be tremendously disappointed in you forever. That is saying something because at one time you were twice my age.
Thank you guys so much. Have a great evening.